What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp uh, tutorial for you today. So last week I had showed you how to make a model of the Master Sword from the upcoming game Breath of the Wild. Uh, this week I'm going to show you how to make a shield from that same video. So let's go ahead and just jump into this thing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here, we're going to import an image um, in order to kind of trace the outline of our shape. So first thing you're going to want to do is when you click import and bring that in, and I didn't do this right the first time, um, so you go up to file and uh, you're going to click import and then uh, you're going to go to use image as image. Don't select it as texture like I had it selected the first time. So just uh, find whatever image you want to use. I just pulled an image of this off the off the internet uh, for me to trace and then uh, just go ahead and import that to uh, whatever size you need in order to uh, in order to uh, work on this so what we're gonna do is we're going to trace this shape and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off and I'm gonna draw a line right down the middle here just like this and we're only going to trace half of this so what we're going to do is you're just going to come in here you're going to use the arc tools and the various other tools in SketchUp and just uh, draw an outline of this shape real quick so you're just going to come in here draw that arc right there finish the arc right here and just get it close and then uh, go ahead and come in here and basically you're just going to trace the outline of all of these different shapes and I think what I'm going to do is I'll probably speed this up in this video because you don't need to uh, sit here and watch or listen to me talk while I'm tracing this stuff. Uh, you guys can trace this. Just uh, be a little careful when you do it just to make sure that you're getting everything that you're drawing everything on face so don't accidentally draw some shapes like up and out like this because uh, then you can have some trouble Sorry, then it, then it can cause some issues with you actually getting your face done in here because your face won't finish because not everything's on the face. So just be careful that everything you're doing is on face. All right, so I'm back. So uh, now that you've got half of this traced, and uh, you know the, the nice thing about this is it's it's really easy to get all these shapes in here when you just come in here and trace them. Well, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and hide. So right click on your image and just click hide because you don't really need it at this point. Okay, so what you're gonna do once you have everything kind of drawn in here is you're gonna select this piece, you're gonna right click on it, you're gonna click make component, and uh, you're gonna call this shield half and so basically what we're doing with our shield half here is we are coming in here and we're making this a component so that when we um, change one side of this the other side will change as well and you can make a copy move this over here and uh, scale it and then put it back together so that means when you change one half of the shield you can change the other half as well so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're going to um, extrude these pieces a little bit and basically what we're doing is we're giving our uh, our shield a little bit of depth so you're gonna want to extrude this out just a little bit uh, maybe we'll call this two inches before you do that you may want to select everything in here and reverse all the faces so that the front face is facing out on all of them um, so you can go ahead and come in here you can extrude this a couple inches and then remember one of the things about tools in SketchUp is Oops, is you can double click and uh, it'll remember what it had you do the last or what you did with it the last time so if I push pull something two inches then I can double click on each one of these every time that I do that every time that I do that it's gonna re-extrude them by two inches so it'll just every time I double click on something it'll extrude it by two inches and uh, it'll do whatever you did last with that object so, and I am going to try one thing really quick. Um, I think what I want to do is I want to go ahead and um, come in here with the erase tool and hide these lines before I do that. So basically activate the erase tool and hold the shift key and all that does is it hides those lines. 
So now you can't see the divider line running down the middle. You can see these are shaded a little different just because one's a component. But if I click out of it, you can't see that this is two halves. So now if I come in here and I extrude these by two inches, I don't have that divider line mostly. Um, there are a few cases where you're still gonna have where you're still gonna have it, but not nearly like you did before. So come in here and extrude everything to two inches, just like this. And then you can come in here and kind of clean this up and hide some of these lines in here. So you're probably gonna have a couple on this side as well that you can hide. But now you've got this shape in here that uh, doesn't show that it's two halves, so it's nice and smooth. So, so first thing I would recommend doing with this is I would move a copy off to the side. So maybe up here somewhere, um, you can uh, just hide it. And you may want to go ahead and make these unique as well. That way when you make changes down here, it doesn't affect this one. But basically all we're doing is saving a backup copy of our geometry. Because what happens is um, things can get a little bit difficult once you started bending geometry to go back and fix anything. So, and there, there may be a little bit better way to do that, but let's just roll with this for right now. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and stand this up. You don't need to do this, but that's just kind of the way my brain thinks is with blue is up and everything else in here. So you've got this shield shape and you can come in here on this back side and you can draw in some handles or whatever on the back side of your shield. I'm not going to worry about that right now, but feel free to do that. This is the step where you want to do that before we get in here and start bending things. But now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, we're going to double click inside our component and we're going to select everything. And then we're going to use Fredo Scale's Radial Bend Tool. So if you don't have Fredo Scale, you can download that for free. Uh, I can't remember if it's in the SketchUp Extension Warehouse or if it's in the SketchUcation Extension Warehouse, but I'll link to it down in the uh, notes below. So you're going to activate that tool, and what that's going to allow you to do is that's going to allow you to bend your object. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to come in here with that tool active, and you're going to tap the up key. Uh, that'll lock your inference to the blue axis, so the up and down. Remember, you can use those keys to lock the different axes. So go ahead and lock that to the blue, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to select the midpoint here. You're going to select a target direction. From, um, so the direction that you want to bend this along. And then you're just going to click uh, somewhere in the middle here. Uh, it doesn't really matter. This just kind of sets where along here you're going to bend this along. So just kind of click somewhere in the middle. And then uh, it's going to tell you to pick your rotation angle. So you can see how that gives you kind of a, a preview of what this is going to look like when you bend it. But you can come in here and you can type in an angle. And let's go with 45 degrees. So what that's going to do is that's going to come in here and that's going to bend all of these shapes just like this. And so what that does is it gives you this uh, bent shield shape, which is exactly what we were looking for. So you can see now you've got this bent shield shape and this did create a couple of these lines in here. Uh, I don't think you can erase them. Oh, I guess you can erase them. So you can just come in here and erase those lines out and your faces all kind of stay the same. Um, so now you've got this really cool bent shield shape. Um, had you put the handles back here, those would have gotten bent as well if you put them inside the component. So you can definitely do that before that bending um, happens. So anyway, um, I'm going to go through and color this up and everything else. I don't think you guys are really interested in just sitting here and watching me uh, put colors in with the materials tool, but you can do some other cool stuff with this, like render it and everything else. You can really do whatever you want, but this has just been kind of a way to uh, create this shape. So uh, I'd love to know what you guys think about this modeling method. So uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. Let me know. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe for new SketchUp stuff every week. If you really like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, every little bit helps, uh, even if it's like a dollar a month. Um, I just really appreciate your support. I'll link to that right down below. And, uh, you know, in any case, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. Uh, it means a lot to me. So thank you so much, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.